Hey there folks, Catherine Grayson Nams here, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate for Kendo React Ad Progress. Today we are taking a look into our scheduler component. It's one of the most flexible and adaptable of our React components. Designed to help you help your users easily plan events, schedule things far out, take a look at their calendars, so much more. The scheduler includes out of the box time zone conversion, grouping, editing, and support for recurring events. One of its most popular features though, is the five different built-in views that we offer to support the wide variety of calendar visualization options. This high level of flexibility lets you, the developer, configure this component in whichever way makes the most sense for your application. It gives your users the choice of views so that they can pick the one that will be most useful to them. So let's take a look at these five different available views that you can use and in which situations you might want to use each one. The first view we'll take a look at is the day view. This is perfect for users who want to see a high level visual overview of their day. The block style view of their events makes it really easy to see how much time you have available and which items are taking up the largest parts of their day. This is also a really great option for coordinating the booking of shared resources, like a conference room or a piece of equipment that many people have to use and reserve time for. The day view is also incredibly customizable. You can see over here, you can change the start time and end time, as well as specifying the start and end of your workday. So let's say you work a very traditional kind of nine to five. A quick update here allows us to move the start of the workday from eight to nine. We're also able to customize the slot duration so that you can break up uh, the view, the hourly view and however you like. So right now we have it set on a 15 minute slot duration. So you can see over here, each one of these chunks is only 15 minutes. However, we could condense our day and show things in a more streamlined view by bringing everything down so that each block now takes up a full hour of time. This allows us to condense the information, take in more at once. Finally, we can also adjust the number of days here in our day view. So if you are the kind of person who likes to plan maybe two or three days ahead instead of just one, that is as easy as changing this right here. And you can see our view has updated. So now we can look ahead the next couple of days and get a feel for what's coming up the pipeline. Next, we have the week view. This view combines the benefits of the day view with the longer term view of a calendar. Being able to look ahead at the week can help your users target which days they have free to focus on big projects and which days they know will be already packed with other commitments. Since we naturally break our work schedule into work weeks, this is an incredibly practical view to be able to offer to your users. And as you can see here, you can swap back and forth between showing the full week like we have now and showing just the work week. Not only that, the work week is customizable. So if you are one of those lucky few who are on a four day work week, let's say that is as simple as changing your work week end day to Thursday, or maybe you start late. So you start on Tuesday and you end on Friday. Your work week is completely customizable to however your company and your users work. Next, let's take a look at the month view. The month view offers our users a more traditional calendar layout, that standard high level view of several weeks that allows them to get a feel for everything that's coming up. As with the other views, you can customize everything here, the day the week begins, all of that. But one of the neat things that you can do is group based on resource. So let's take a look at that over here. Here's an example of a month calendar that's been grouped based on resource. So you can see over here, the resource is this particular meeting room and we are able to compare two people's schedules. So here's Alex and the things that Alex has on their calendar and then Peter and the things they have on their calendar. So again, if you are sharing some kind of a resource, whether that's a meeting room or a piece of equipment or anything, being able to take a look at that upcoming schedule from a bird's eye view is really great for doing the kind of high level planning that's often needed to share those kinds of restricted resources. 
offering this as an option for your users is something that can be really handy and really practical for them. So it's nice to be able to give them the flexibility to manipulate their calendar, filter and sort it however they need for whatever they're using it for. Here's an example of our scheduler formatted to use the agenda view. The agenda view is best for your very practical users who just want to see as much information as possible in the smallest amount of space. They don't need to look too far ahead and they don't need that kind of visual representation of time that we offer with like the day view, for example. Offering the agenda and the day views together as two different options is a great way to allow your users to personalize their scheduler. Not everyone is gonna work in the same way and they shouldn't have to. Meet your users where they are and allow them to work most efficiently by giving them multiple view options to choose from. This also gives us a really great chance to look at how you can customize the look and feel of your scheduler component. So here, for example, you can see we have set the all day events to have a different background color than the shorter term events. We've used pink and blue here, but let's mix it up. Maybe green and red. Kind of festive, right? And there they go. Of course, this could be easily used to adjust and use your brand colors, your company colors, uh, maybe just colors that you think are most attractive. It's a nice way to be able to put a personal touch on your scheduler and make it fit the look and feel of the rest of your application. Here we have the timeline view, which offers a side scrolling hour by hour look at the user schedule. This is an especially useful view for identifying potential overlaps or conflicts in scheduling, as well as getting a really accurate visual representation of how long an event really is. Nothing makes you realize quite how long it is like having to keep scrolling. <laughs> you can customize just like the day view, the widths of each hourly column by adjusting uh, the column width property here. So right now each one is 100 pixels wide. So let's tighten that up a little bit. We can squeeze things in and make them just 50 pixels wide or maybe stretch everything out and really give it room to breathe with 200 pixels. You can also adjust any of those previously mentioned customizations to this, like showing or hiding current time markers, changing the date range, the number of days, setting the beginning and the end of your work week. All of that stuff still fits here. These are really great for assessing deadlines and situations where events will be ongoing for a while and potentially overlapping with other events. That side scrolling view makes the visualization of events very intuitive. And it's a great way to capture a whole day in just a little bit of space. <laughs> if you're looking for a way to track deadlines and projects that are dependent on each other, you might also be interested in our Gantt chart component. Check that out and choose which one of these components will best fit your users' needs. With so many great view options, you'll never have to compromise on a scheduler component for your application. However, sometimes more than one view solution can be valid. In that case, it's best to leave it to the user's personal preference so that they can pick the one that works best for them. With our scheduler, you can just import whatever view options you'd like to offer in your app, nest them within that parent scheduler component, and just like that, your users will be able to toggle them using the drop-down menu in the top right corner. So let's take a look and show you just how easy it really is. Here's our month view example from before. I'm gonna go ahead and import the day view right here. And let's go ahead and say the agenda view. Now to add these to our options, it's as simple as adding day view and agenda view right here within our scheduler component. And then you can see up here in this drop down menu, day and agenda are now available. If we change our mind, we can just take one out. You see now we're just back to month and agenda view. This lets you filter down and only offer the things that you would like to support or that you think your users will be able to make best use of. It's a really nice way to put your own personal twist on the scheduler component. 
The scheduler is one of our most powerful and adaptable components, and what we looked at today is really only one small facet of everything that it can do. So you'll want to block off some time on your calendar to really dig deep on this component and get a feel for all the ways that you can customize it to suit your application. Thankfully, you have 30 full days to explore the Kendo React library using our trial program, so you can take your time fitting us into your busy schedule. Thanks for watching.